Welcome back. 548 is the time. A popular pancake mix and syrup brand is retiring. Aunt Jemima is acknowledging its racist past where it started more than a century ago. We connect the dots on the history of Aunt Jemima. After years of complaints, Quaker Oats has announced it is retiring the Aunt Jemima brand. The brand has been mired in racist stereotypes from the beginning. Let's connect the dots. It started in 1889 when two men, Chris Rutt and Charles Underwood, came up with the idea for the first ready-made pancake mix. Rutt went to a vaudeville show that year and saw a performer in blackface wearing an apron and a bandana singing Old Aunt Jemima. That's when he reportedly decided to give his pancake mix the same name. And while Aunt Jemima wasn't real, the stereotype was. The original packaging featured Aunt Jemima as a mammy, a caricature with deep roots in Southern racism. A mammy is often portrayed as an older African-American woman who was devoted to the white children she cared for, a stereotype that was not rooted in the brutal reality of enslaved women. The company did hire a woman to portray Aunt Jemima in 1890, Nancy Green. The 56-year-old former slave signed a lifetime contract to travel the country promoting the product. In 1893, her booth at the Chicago World's Fair was so popular, extra police had to be called in to control the crowd. She continued in the role until her death in 1923. And some other companies following suit include Mrs. Butterworth, which also makes syrup, and Uncle Ben's, a popular rice brand. 